right, so I tell you what, we got a little, uh, don't apologize going on out there. Let's you listen to a little down. of it. It's Diane Bracewaite oh, and Chris new. Whiteley. Not that that's a mouthful but or anything, but let's listen to a little of it, and then we're going to talk to our guests. I done got wise, so baby don't, don't apologize. the chance now to your tune I just won't dance I heard your lies so baby don't don't here with two great artists in fact uh, they just arrived from Canada and they can inform us going through the border you can get through but it <laughs> is difficult is this correct I mean they don't just let the border wide open do they Diana no way they check you pretty good yeah. But uh, we managed to have all the papers we needed and we made sure of it before we left <laughs> home and so we we're able to be here and get through safe. Yeah, that's right. I've got the one paper I need. That is a U.S. passport. That's right. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. right. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's that uh, northern yeah. border that we seem to secure mm -hmm. with neighbors of ours. We have it very secure. You know, uh, one thing I just want to say, you know, there is a, a an old poem, I think it's a Robert Forrest, Fr uh, Frost, Good fences make good neighbors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah. That, that's a good one, isn't it? Yeah, and in light of the things that are going on on our southern border, <laughs> maybe things would be a little easier if we had that, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, true enough. Those yeah. are wise words, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. they are. Yeah. So uh, you've been on the road. Um, who does most of the driving? I do. You do? Yeah, yeah pretty much, yeah. yeah. You don't want to ruin that national treasure. Yeah, right, that's right. right. <laughs> you know, we got to keep the voice well, you know, right. safe and sound. Yeah. And she needs her rest. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah right. Yeah. yeah. You need and, your rest. You know, also give Dan a prop. She's an excellent navigator too. So. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah. with the maps. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you right follow. And you follow what she says. I do. I know what's good for me. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Now, Diana, I was reading over the bio here and everything, mm -hmm. and your family is really a southern family. That's right. So I mean, you ended up in Canada. How, how did that up, family? Well, we ended up in Canada many, many generations ago through something called the Underground Railroad. Right. And so my great, great, great grandparents were born right here in the south. But due to slavery and due to their uh, need to get north to Canada where they could be free mm -hmm. earlier than the United States. Right. They hit the road. <laughs> hit the road jack. Yeah, hit the road jack. And they uh, escaped through the Underground Railroad and so our family settled in Canada. You know, the Underground Railroad is really a fascinating story, particularly when you consider all the quilts. Mm -hmm. And the quilts uh, mm -hmm. tell the story of where to go when they were going the Underground Railroad. That's right. There are many things that they used. Quilts, the stars in the sky, uh, the moss on the trees to tell them which way was north. And uh, a lot of music too, a lot of songs music, that have um, you know, hidden, hidden lyrics. Yeah. So, um, and you all have actually done stuff in the schools, haven't you, with that? Yes, we have. Um, we've been uh, touring a show in the schools for the past eight years. Mm -hmm. Every February, Black History Month, right. we take our show right into the schools for the whole month. And uh, for the other part of the year, we're touring doing our blues show. But uh, it's been very successful. We've reached over 80,000 students with our story, which is with slides and music, songs, and we tell the story of the Underground Railroad. The cool part about it is that uh, Diana's mother is a great historian, so she's got all these old pictures from, I didn't even know they had photographs, you know, back that far, but 
of the people that you know originally came to Canada through the Underground Railroad and of you know the farms where people settled and uh, all of that kind of thing. So it's great to be able to show the students actual pictures from way back then. And they love that. Now, do you do this in Canada or do you come over to the United States? We've been to the United States with the show as well, and um, we actually showed it recently at a festival in just outside of Washington, D.C., at the um, Tinner Hill, Tinner oh. Hill Festival, right? And we brought the show there, and anywhere pretty well that we play the blues, if there's an opportunity in the daytime, we'll do that show on wow. the Underground Railroad. That, that's terrific. Thank you. How, how, do, uh, how do the students uh, appreciate it? The students appreciate it um, in different ways. Okay. You know. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good way to put it, yeah. Diana. <laughs> it all depends on the age of the, some of the students. But for the most part, I'll say that uh, we've been very well received. You know, the odd time you'll get some um, kids that aren't really interested in, in anything, really, right. you know other than clowning around, but uh, for the most part, we've had good reception yeah, for the show. Yeah, and we're lucky too, because we've, we've got, you know, all the slides, we've got all our musical instruments and songs and stories, and there's, there's pretty well enough there to keep them well entertained, as well as informed, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things that I think is so wonderful is when musicians do go into the schools and do things. I don't know if, do you know Mac Arnold? Yes, we know about Mac and you know about Mac. We, we, we <laughs> worked with Mac's him. band actually up, in, up in Greer. Yeah, uh, we we played at uh, we'll be playing club there, there next Tuesday, and we'll be going back again next Tuesday for. And, Are you uh, playing at his restaurant? No, no, oh, no. no this is another, another club. Another club, but uh -huh. with uh, Max and uh, Play Max Full High of Blues. Tower, Playful of Blues. They're a real yes. fine We've band. We've heard nothing but good things about we're, Mac. We're, we're hoping to meet Mac this weekend, actually. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to be playing, unfortunately, he's going to be playing tonight when you're playing oh. tonight. He's going to be at Sundance Gallery one night only. Oh, oh that's goodness. right. Well, maybe we'll meet You should go be in the yeah. just go, well, no. <laughs> go to, uh, <laughs> you'll have to go to his restaurant, <laughs> Matt Arnold's yes, yes, Place will. Full of Blues. Yeah. Will, yeah. 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 But um, he's a great guy, but he has a foundation that works with young people. They actually take um, instruments into the schools. They try to oh. get donated instruments, and then mm -hmm. they give the instruments. And uh, the foundation is I can do an anything, mm -hmm. and it has to do I can do anything with my education. And there's a whole oh. song and everything about it, mm -hmm. and uh, it's really uh, it's great. really good. Yeah, it, it's that's good to hear. Yeah, give yeah. him something back. You know, mm -hmm. he is giving yeah. something mm -hmm. back. Absolutely. And I think it was I talked to uh, M. J. Vaughn, uh, Maurice Vaughn, and he has done similar type things in the schools, going into the schools. Mm -hmm. So I love to hear it when musicians are going into the schools. Mm -hmm. Number one, helping keeping the blues alive exactly, and yeah. exciting that interest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. No, it's definitely important to always be uh, reaching the new generation, you know, with the music and the, the, the history and all of that. So, yeah, we agree with you on that. So, Chris, how did you get interested in the blues? Well, I, I guess it, when I heard it, it just, from a young age, it just kind of captivated me. There was something about it. I, I was very fortunate. like. Um, as you mentioned earlier, I, I was born in Kansas, but I moved up to Toronto. And just at that time, uh, a legendary blues artist by the name of Lonnie Johnson moved to Toronto as well. And I happened to meet Lonnie Johnson and, and uh, be able to uh, kind of learn some things about the guitar and about the music and go and hear him play all the time. And, and he was like a a mentor to me when I was a teenager, and he got me uh, off on, uh, you know, the path of the blues. I was going to say the right path, but yeah, yeah whatever path. <laughs> the righteous path, yeah, 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 there you go. Right. But, uh, <laughs> you know, he, he was great, and, and there, was a, there was a great music scene thriving at that time with uh, a lot of the older blues musicians who, you know, have passed on now. Um, I was able to, to hear them play live and to, to meet some of them and, and get a chance to even work with, with some with people like Lonnie and uh, Blind John Davis from Chicago who's maybe not so well known as a 
as a big name, but uh, the recordings he played on, he was the house piano player at Bluebird Records in Chicago for years, so he played with Big Bill Grunzi and Tampa Red and many others, and uh, I got to work with uh, with Blind John for, for a while. And weren't you on Saturday Night Live? I was actually. Well, I thought I read something yes. about that. I was with uh, Leon Redbone, who I worked with for a while. Did an album with Leon, and um, that was a lot of fun. That I, oh, come on now! That's got a, a, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, I, dead yeah. man here. Yeah, yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I bet it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, but it, you know, it was also very nerve wracking because you realize that you're playing live. No chance again if you mess up. No you studio know, album no there. No studio yeah. album there. So um, they do one thing that I don't know if everybody knows this or not, but they actually record the show twice. That you do a show from eight o'clock till ten thirty or whatever it is, and you run through the whole show before the live audience, and then they actually make little changes before like they're madly running around saying we're going to drop this bit or we're going to you got to change that song or something right before you're about to go live and before whatever million people, people. yeah so it, and it, it didn't it, bother it, you at all did it no no okay. <laughs> right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it was it was pretty exciting and those that was you know, back in the early days of Saturday Night Live, too. So um, I think the cast at that time included uh, the late John Belushi and uh, Steve Martin and Dan Aykroyd and the all, the uh, the legends. The legends, exactly. Yeah, the and, legends. and we were doing an album with Leon at the time. They came down to the recording studio and hung out and stuff. It was I'll never forget those times. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And uh, Steve Martin is quite a banjo player. He is. I I heard some of his stuff on. Um, uh, like a blue bluegrass network, and he's he's a very accomplished banjo player. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Hey, I tell you what, I am here with Diana Lee Braithwith. Am I saying it right? Braithwith. I, I I watched a couple of videos. Uh -huh. And Chris Whiteley, and they are husband and wife. They are here with us. They're a very special guest. But right now, let's hear South Carolina news, and we'll be right back. Um, are you a pirate or a pack rat? Do you have a vacation of a lifetime sitting in the attic? Or a college tuition hung on a wall? Or is a fabulous retirement hidden in your jewelry box? Bring those items to Sharp Facets Gallery. We can establish value and buy from you or sell for you. And so ends another chapter at Sharp Facets Gallery. 72 Bypass and on the web, sharpfacets.com. A party for one, it just ain't no fun. A glass of red wine just isn't as fine. Oh no, something doesn't feel right. But when I'm with you, you know what to do. You love me. I guess you're right. It just doesn't feel right when it's a glass of uh, red wine for one. And that's why we've got a party going on over here <laughs> at Sharp yeah, Facets yeah, this yeah, afternoon. Right. <laughs> it's nice. I know you just got into town and you had to rush to get over here. It's nice to be able to sit down and relax and just it's do some talking, isn't it? It sure it's is. It's very yeah. nice. And it's nice and cool. Nice and cool. Nice yeah. and cool. you got nice air conditioning. Yeah. We're chilling out here. That's great. Just hanging out, having a good time. Excellent. I am so glad. Well, listen, I understand that, uh, you know, we were talking about the uh, connection to Saturday Night Live. I understand just a little while ago you had an opportunity to see uh, Dan Aykroyd again. That's right. We, um, just a few weeks back, we played at a, a, a concert, a reunion concert um, of a, a blues club where Dan had been involved in it. This was probably back in the 70s, I believe. And uh, so he was kind of one of the uh, the sponsors of this uh, big get-together. And um, we found out that Dan is now, as well as his, you know, continuing love of blues and blues music and comedy, of course, his big passion now is uh, producing high-end vodka. Mm -hmm. And um, so we were 
lucky enough as performers there to be given the um, the crystal skull full of this this high-end vodka it's made with no preservatives of any kind no um, additives or any, it's supposed to be you know the purest thing you can drink and uh, and how did it taste? It, how did it, know, it, it taste? It tastes pretty good, and it, it, it certainly Thumbs gets up. the job done. You know, it, it, it's uh, it's very clean, and um, yeah. yeah, it's it's very nice. You and, threw uh, a heck of a party. As you suggested, I I think you know that the idea is you finish off the high end vodka and then you <laughs> refill that crystal skull with whatever you can get your hands it's on. Right, yeah. 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 And I just say, here it is. Yeah. Look, I'm just opening That's it for, right, the, first for the, the first time. Yeah. That's pretty cool. But um, Diana, I would love to hear the story how y'all met. Oh, sure. Well, we met um, years ago. We were There was a place in Toronto called Albert's Hall, and they used to have weekly uh, Stormy Monday Blues shows. Stormy actually, Monday Stormy Blues. Stormy Monday Blues shows. Yeah. And they were actually hosted by a good friend of ours, Danny Marks, who uh, is a DJ in Toronto on a radio show. That he's the one that's called you um, at the National Canada's Treasure. National there Treasure. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. No wonder. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And uh, Danny's a great person and, like yourself, uh, loves the blues and has done a lot to keep the blues alive in Canada. Mm -hmm. So he had uh, hosted these Monday evening, Stormy Monday blues jams, and Chris and I used to attend, and that's actually the first time we met, it was at one of those. Uh, events where we were both, uh, I was singing blues and Chris was playing, playing right. guitar. Uh, were, were he, I mean, was he playing for you or no, he was playing his side and you were um, doing your thing? Well, we were on the stage together, but it wasn't that we were planned to be together. Okay. He just happened to be playing and I was singing. Okay. I think so I was in the band that night, and you were sitting in as, right. a, as a special guest that's or something right. like yeah. that. So yeah. it was a kind of a spontaneous event. But yes. Yeah. And that's the first time that we met, were introduced, and uh, so is that when the relationship started, or was that just <laughs> when you met? Now that was just when we met. Okay. Yes. We. It was together. obviously very important to him because he could tell us details. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I mean, Diana was a little fuzzy on the details, but Chris, you I had it down. I remember it well. Okay. Everything just exactly. Yeah, I think she was wearing a, a light blue sweater, and uh, yeah, no, I'm making that up. Okay. So, yeah, I don't okay. remember it that well. You yeah. were that yeah. smitten, right? Yeah. 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 There you go. But, uh, and smitten with the voice as well. Yeah, yeah. it was a, it was great, and we did subsequent to that get a chance to do some gigs together officially. And um, you know, the more we performed together, the more we realized that our musical tastes were so compatible, and we we enjoyed not only hanging out together, but the same kind of music. And it just seemed to be uh, one of those things that worked you know well for us. And so, how long have y'all been married? Um, well, we've been together now for, is it so? Ten years. Ten years. years. Ten oh, years. okay. Ten years. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, excellent. And uh, yes. still uh, still going strong here, right? Still going strong. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Good yeah, to hear. I mean, you know, it's good to have these details out so that everybody That's knows. Right, yeah. That's yes, right. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's, uh, yes, and, um, you know, in Canada, um, I think, well, I'm not sure what the situation is like down here for interracial couples, but I know it's quite common, really, in Canada. It's getting and a lot more common here in, in the south, in the yeah. south, and in the, in the United States. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, and I think uh, for us, it's about people. You know, we're we're both uh, human beings. Uh, we both had so much in common: uh, music and. Uh, lots of things. We love family activities. When we're not uh, on the road doing our gigs and doing music, we're really spending a lot of time with our family. And we both brought a lot of extended family to the to the picture because we both had marriages previously. Okay. And so this is uh, something that's been uh, quite a journey and it's been a wonderful journey with ups and downs and, uh, and really uh, wouldn't trade it uh, for anything, so I think it's been a, a really successful uh, 
you are recording this show. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and videoing it, too. Yeah, right. Trying to see if uh, Diana blushes yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> great and I think sometimes it takes a, a time or two to get it right you know mm -hmm. to find that That's soulmate right. and you know uh, my husband and I Jeff and I work together all the time we, we are mm -hmm. uh, you know we get up in the morning and we spend the whole day and mm -hmm. we go with Gracie of course yeah. Yeah. <laughs> through the afternoon then we go home and you go to bed and it's a different type of relationship oh, yeah. When you're then together. all yes. the time, and it yeah. takes a yeah. special type of people to. that can That's get along. Right. Don't yes, you agree, Diana? For sure. Yeah. 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 You you live and you learn. You do. And it does take a special type of person because we are together twenty four seven. Yeah. Pretty well. Yeah. And Driving and in that car all those days, yeah. coming down here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <that's right>. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So it it is it is special, and it is special that. Uh, your music now how Diana how would you describe your music what type of blues d is it that you okay we like? do a mixture of real traditional blues and new originals and uh, we go our um, spectrum of the blues music will reach all the way back to the 1920s with some songs but most for the most part we tend to do a lot of Chicago blues mm -hmm. Um, and then we do original songs that we've written, and they are written in the style, once again, of the blues spectrum. It's all blues. It's right. real, authentic blues. That's what we're known for. And we're known to not be a loud band, mm -hmm. even when we're playing with a lot of musicians. On this tour, we're doing a lot of duo shows, and so we're doing acoustic blues. That's, and, that's uh, good. Mm -hmm. And Chris is a multi-instrumentalist. He plays a trumpet, guitar, harmonica, even uh, not in this show, but he also plays a lap steel guitar. At the same time? Very All at the same impressive. time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah. sure have to. <laughs> in fact, uh, tonight you are going to be at the Mill House from 8 to 11 tonight, right? Looking yes. forward to that. Yes, That's right. Are. are you going to get a break between? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, where you're on the radio here with me, and then yeah. I guess... Uh, Go uh, maybe yeah, we'll rest up a little up. bit mm -hmm. and eat something. Yeah, yes. We're looking forward to it. Uh, yeah. yeah, as we've always enjoyed the food, good food down here in South Carolina. Absolutely. Well, you're going to have some good food over there at the Mill House yes. too. You're going to be there at the Mill House, so people have plenty of opportunity. You guys are working a lot. <laughs> we are. Eight to eleven tonight. Tomorrow on Friday from one fifteen to two on the CenturyLink stage, and then eight to ten at. Uh, Flynn's on Maxwell. Yes. Now, that's a very nice place Is right it? there. Yeah, yeah you're going to like that. They have their own craft beers, and they have mm -hmm. wine, and uh, it's a nice, uh, nice, very nice ambience there. I like the sound of that. That's yeah, that's right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then 1 to 145 on Saturday, back on the CenturyLink main stage. And then 9 p.m. to midnight on Saturday night. <laughs> God almighty, when are you guys going to rest? Yeah. You're going to be at Polo's. So uh, you got to hear them. You know, we played a little bit of their music, but I'm finding out a lot more about them than you probably ever could. <laughs> hey, let's hear a quick word from our sponsors, and we'll be right back. Shake, shake, shake those blues away. You know, that has a little bit of a Motown feel to it, doesn't it, Diana? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That song is actually uh, it's my daughter singing. Is it? In the background? On, yeah. On that song. And uh, we just wanted to try something. We were doing uh, something a little more, like you say, Motown, a little funky. And we had our band playing, and uh, 
That's it's a nice fun. little rock yeah. too. Yeah, it is a nice little one. You know, shake mm -hmm. that blues off. Yeah. That's right. Get out of that bed and shake the blues off. That's right. right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, doesn't always work that way, though, does it? No. No. There's good blues and bad blues. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. true. That's, that's true. Yeah. So um, let's see. So on this tour, you're down here working hard right here in Greenwood for the Festival of Discovery and Blues Cruise. You don't want to miss them. They are playing a lot of different times, a lot of different places. You will have the opportunity. Make sure you put them on your list. They are from Canada. Let's see. What did I read? You've won uh, nine-time Canadian National Blues Award winners. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's yes. pretty impressive, Diana. Yes. Well, Thank you very much. Yeah, we've been very fortunate that way. And uh, for those who may not know, Canada actually has a thriving blues scene. There's, um, you know, we don't know much about Canada yeah. down here in South Carolina. <laughs> you know, we're, not, we're just not really into Canada, but we're proud that you're here. Well, yes. we're proud to be here because we love South Carolina. So. Uh, Thanks for having mm -hmm. us. Yeah, but um, Canada does, and Toronto is really a fantastic city, isn't it? Toronto is a beautiful city. It's a real. It's a place that people, if you, if people down here have a chance, they should really check it out. It's a, a vibrant city with so many different cultural groups, music, food. Um, you know, for the most part, the people are friendly. I'm most sure you're going to get yeah. some that aren't. Right. And it's <laughs> like very uh, uh, very sculptural, isn't it? Very high sculptures and very... very uh, sculpt much, yeah. yeah. I Art mean, uh, Art the Art buildings. And, yeah, oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well designed. Very, and, very uh, modern. They say it's very clean. Usually you hear that about the city. So it's a great place. I, I grew up in Toronto. So I, I love the city. But uh, also love, you know, traveling and... Where do you like to travel the best? I, I enjoy traveling a lot to Europe and uh, have been over there to uh, Paris and Amsterdam, the Netherlands. Yeah, well over there in Poland they say uh, Diana's voice is full of class and dignity. Mm -hmm. I guess you well, would. I well, guess I you would, would like to go there. Yes, <laughs> enjoy there. And you know, we really enjoy coming down here to the south. To the south. It's yeah. been a new experience for us for the past um, four years. We've been making trips down here. Uh, this is our second time to South Carolina, second or third. Third, I think actually, third yeah. yeah. And I'm really enjoying actually reconnecting with my Southern American with roots. roots. Yeah. And I've had people come up. A lot of uh, people have come up and asked me, and you know, about my story in connection to the South, and, and uh, I've been made to feel very welcome here, so I enjoy coming down here. And after all, this is the land where the blues began, so this you, is the you land can't come to a, to a better place to, uh, you know, respect play that very much. Absolutely. So you're going to be here through the weekend, and then what, where are you headed to after here? Well, we're, we're going to go down to Georgia for a couple of days, down to Savannah, then we're back up to uh, play in Greer just down the road mm -hmm. and uh, then we have some um, some gigs up in uh, the northern states up in New York State before we head back so uh, we'll, we'll be busy but uh, it, it's all good you know we love being here and uh, it's so a, it's a good opportunity and mm -hmm. great time of uh, great time of the great hot year to be here, here. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> The nice thing is that, uh, although you may not believe this, but it's actually going to be a little cooler. We're only going to be up to oh. about 90. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <You know. laughs> How hot does it get in Toronto? Um, we usually will get, uh, in the summer, we can get up to 80, you know, and and uh, uh, even into the 90s as well. Into like, the 90s, uh, but, not but that's like rare. It. It's rare. And you don't have the humidity, do you? We don't have, yeah, the, the, it's hot down here. Yeah. I felt that it coming down <laughs> yeah, further right south. south okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The further it was, you know, further south we were getting, the hotter it was. But um, we do get beautiful weather there in the summer. Right. So. How about you know, in the winter? In the winter, it's not fun. Yeah. It's cold. Do you it, guys happen cold. to ski? Um, snow ski? Did you no, ever snow I, ski? No, I'm not a skier. Yeah. But uh, I'll walk in the snow. Oh, yeah, you walk <laughs> in the snow, yeah. <laughs> How about being Where's from Kansas? Ski? How about yeah, from well, Kansas? Were you ever a you skier? Know, I wasn't a skier, but I did get into ice skating. Ice skating. I, I, um, 
Hockey? Yeah. Did you play I, hockey? I, I, I yeah. did. I, I had to learn. That was I was way behind all the other guys when I moved up there. So I, you know, being uh, being a guy, I took it upon myself to uh, get right in there. And uh, but I, I was too far behind. I never became a very good hockey player. But I did learn to become a pretty good ice skater. So that, that was my winter fun. And uh, you know, I don't I don't mind the, the winter weather. The only time it's really a drag is when you're trying to get from point A to point B and it's uh, snowing. I guess you get a little bit of snow down here occasionally in the winter. Occasionally. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so um, and, and, and you know what kind of chaos that can cause on the road. <laughs> so imagine that happening for four or five months straight, you know, and then you've got to get an idea. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I think the thing about Canada, having been to Canada, you guys just don't care that it's going to snow. No, I no, mean, no. you know, down it, here, we, prog we, we say that there might be a flake or two falling, and there is no milk and no bread left in the re left in the grocery store. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. whereas up there is business as yeah, usual. Yeah, yeah, we'll make yeah. It, yeah, that's right. So, a different attitude, but uh, you know, yeah. people are different. I guess. Yeah. You know, I, I was just thinking about this. If you were a hockey player, did you ever feel conflicted between the U.S. And Canada, you know, when the games were going on, and uh, you know, it was kind of tight there. Well, uh, you know, I didn't really pick sides. You didn't to, pick to sides. To tell you the truth, like you talking about, like the Olympics yeah, or, right. or something yeah. like that. This yeah. is a baseball. I, I'm more of a baseball guy oh. because I grew up with mm -hmm. that. So, um, and, and uh, I have learned to love the Toronto Blue Jays, <laughs> much as they may struggle. They, they did win the World Series a couple of times, so they, you know, in the big picture, it's been pretty good. Hope springs eternal. eternal yeah, right. there yeah. you go. <laughs> yeah. Well, that is great. Well, you are in for a treat if you love the blues and you want to you want to listen to uh, nine-time Canadian National Blues Award winners. You've got to hear Diana Braithwaite and Chris Whiteley. Couldn't say Whitley, could you? It had to be Whiteley. <laughs> <laughs> I'll answer both. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> How about just Diana and Chris? That's what yeah. we usually end up being <laughs> called anyway, yeah. Yeah, but there are probably aren't many people that attempt both these names yeah, in yeah. one sentence. It's pretty That's tough. Right. But uh, Diana and Chris are going to be at the Mill House tonight, 8 to 11, uh, 115 to 215 on Friday on the CenturyLink main stage. This will be a first that we're going to be doing it in the afternoon. Yeah. So uh, that'll be fun. And then 8 to 10 Friday night at Flynn's on Maxwell. 1 to 145 on Saturday on the CenturyLink main stage. And if they're still standing, 9 p.m. Yeah. to midnight <laughs> at Polo's. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, you we, know. We, we, we like to work when we come, you know, we, we came to play, so uh, we can't complain because we're getting a lot of chance to, you know, do these different venues and play our songs for people. So That's we like right. it. We prefer it that way, really. That's right. Yeah. Can I have a question for you? Yes. Where can I get a big hat? A big hat? <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> just about anywhere you can get a big oh, right. hat. That's right. Okay. Actually, I don't know if the uh, hospital's uh, mobile unit will be there, but they may even be giving out big hats oh, okay. uh, you know, for sunscreen and everything. Uh, you are listening to WCRS right here in Greenwood. I am Ann Eller. It has been my absolute pleasure to have you on the show this afternoon. Thank you. Gary made a good choice when he said, I want them to be in studio with you this time, Anne. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Well, we've enjoyed we've it. We've enjoyed too. it very much. Yes. Thanks for having us. We have a wonderful studio here, and uh, thank you for keeping the blues alive. Absolutely. In South Carolina. All right. I appreciate it. Well, go rest up and uh, get ready because they are going to be at the Mill House tonight, 8 to 11. You don't want to miss it. 115 to 215 on Friday, CenturyLink Main Stage. 8 to 10 uh, Friday at Flynn's, Saturday 1 to 145 Saturday on the CenturyLink main stage, and 9 to 12 at Polo's. Good luck, guys, and thanks yeah, so thank much. You, Be right. safe out there. We will thank do. you very thank much. You. All right, this is WCRS right here in Greenwood. Bye bye, everybody.